I swear our school system, something that they could do to improve so much is to make a mandatory class on how to apologize. I'm talking from elementary school to middle school to high school, all the way up to college where you can take how to apologize 101. I say this because clearly people don't know how to do it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health to make your life better, to make your life easier. So if that's something that you are into, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell because I upload a ton of videos. So like I said, we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. The biggest problem, not the biggest problem, one of the biggest problems is people do not know how to apologize. So before I jump into this story about Philip Mewson, I am going to give you an exciting announcement. My exciting announcement is I am making an entire playlist about how to apologize, all right? Now, this is going to be pulling from pop culture because every other day someone's having to apologize for something. So I'm gonna take this and teach you all this because here's the thing. I get it, I get it. I used to be a screw up, a mess up, and the reason this ties into mental health is because I would fall into pits of depression because, well, well, everybody's not perfect. Why don't, why don't people forgive me? And like, I get into that mindset. I can get into that mindset, I know you can too, but we have to realize at some point, the reason people aren't forgiving us is because we never apologized in the right way. So, by pulling in these public apologies, maybe you all can learn and I swear to you, I swear to you, your life will get so much easier if you learn how to apologize. And make sure you stay till the end of this video because I'm gonna give you the best pro tip you will ever hear in your entire life, that is a guarantee. All right, so let's get down into the meat and potatoes of this video. So for all of my fellow video game nerds out there, this is a story about a guy named Philip Mewson, okay? He was working for IGN, IGN is a huge, gigantic video game review website. Like they've been around for ages. And this story first came to my attention from the Philip DeFranco show. So what had happened was uh, Philip Mewson was caught plagiarizing um, a very small YouTuber, not very small, he has twice the amount of subscribers that I do. But anyways, this is a channel called Boomstick Gaming. So this is about a game called Dead Cells. So what happened was, Boomstick Gaming did a review of the game Dead Cells. Then Philip Mewson, he's an editor for IGN, he did a review of the video game Dead Cells. And Boomstick Gaming saw this, he compared the two videos, and Philip Mewson copied it like point by point by point. So IGN, uh, they took the video down, they said they're gonna investigate. It was maybe a few days later that it was announced that Philip Mewson was fired for plagiarism, all right? So just a day or two ago, Philip Mewson, he actually started on YouTube and got this job at IGN. So by the way, any of you uh, out there who wanna get great jobs doing something that you love, maybe start on YouTube or on Instagram, like we live in a beautiful time. But anyways, so over on Philip's uh, YouTube channel, and I think he actually took this video down because I couldn't find it. But anyways, he said my side of the story, all right? And like, I couldn't find the original video, but I watched uh, this other YouTuber who talks about video games and I will link uh, his video down below. But the gist of it is, Philip says that he's gonna tell his side of the story, right? And here's the thing, and I've talked about this with the whole TanaCon and TanaMojo uh, apology and things like that. Like, he says, this is, this is my fault, this is my responsibility, but then he fills the rest of the video with excuses and play, playing the victim and pointing fingers at other people and trying to get the attention off him. So he says that this wasn't intentional at all, but, like you can watch the side by side and it was clearly plagiarized. So I, <laughs> like as, as somebody who was a professional like apologizer, if that's a word, like I thought, I'm like, okay, how's this guy gonna do this? How's he gonna apologize? Like I thought he was gonna say like, oh, you know, with IGN we have these like crazy deadlines and you know, my boss, he just sprung this on me. He said, you have five minutes to pump this thing out. You know, so I screwed up and I copied this and I'm sorry. Like I thought he was gonna say something like this, nothing. Nothing, nothing to that effect at all. Like, come on, Philip, throw me a bone here, Philip. Like, if he would have at least said that, I'd have been like, eh, you know, that sucks, right? But he doesn't. 
He doesn't, he says it was completely unintentional. So then he starts going on this whole thing about how other uh, websites and video game uh, places out there, they're using his name to get clicks, right? So he starts like pointing the finger at them like, you say that my character is not good, but look at what you're doing. Like, don't do that, don't do that. When you apologize, it's all about you, nobody else. If you wanna come back months later and make a commentary on that, Cool, but never, ever, ever, ever include that in your original apology. Uh, uh, apology. Like, here's the thing. So many people apologize in this way. Like, I'm sorry, but, right? I'm sorry that I did that, but, you know what I mean? Like, it, it is so hard for people to take full accountability, and I know why. I get it, I understand why. It's because of the pride and because of the ego. If I take 100% fault for this thing, right, then I'm gonna get judgment. Then I'm not as great as I, I like to think I am, and all these other things. I cannot tell you all how much better my life got when I knew how to take 100% responsibility and accountability for my actions. And I'm talking about even at work. This is why I make these videos for all of you. Like when I started going into work, like I, I would screw something up, especially at a new job, right? I'd screw something up, I'd be so afraid. I'd be so afraid to tell them about my mess up and apologize. My brain starts thinking of all these excuses and how I could pass the blame and da da da. But as soon as I just started going up to my bosses and being like, listen, I I screwed up, I'm really sorry, I wasn't paying attention, I rushed through this, whatever it is, right? But I take full responsibility, like they respect that so much. And like, so I just kept doing it. I just kept doing it. Like when I screw up, it's all about me, all right? Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna give you this pro tip and I want you to listen very, 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 very carefully, all right? This is the secret to apologies, okay? so. My theory, and this has come from personal experience, is people don't like apologizing, right? Like nobody likes to apologize. We hate apologizing. I hate, like nobody is going to say like their favorite hobby is to apologize, right? Nobody likes apologizing. So here's my pro tip for you. You ready? Quit doing things you have to apologize for, all right? If you quit doing things that you have to apologize for, you don't have to worry about apologizing. And this is huge when it comes to improving your mental health, to building better relationships. Like whenever I'm about to do something, whenever I want to make a mistake, whenever I want to do something sneaky or crafty or shady, like plagiarize, I think about, well, if I get caught, I'm going to have to apologize. Well, I don't want to apologize, so I won't do that, all right? So quit doing things that you have to apologize for and you don't have to worry about apologizing as much like you're still gonna have to apologize like I do stuff I'm not perfect I screw up but the fact that I make an effort to not do things that put me in that situation people are a lot more likely to forgive me all right so I really hope you take that to heart I really hope you take that seriously okay quit doing things that you have to apologize for and you don't got to worry about making as many apologies and worry about running into the whole mess that Phillips got in himself into like I think he deleted his video Twitter is losing their minds there's even more videos and more articles about this guy like it is embarrassing all right so a learn how to apologize and B quit doing things that you need to apologize for simple as that become a better person all right so I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it if you think that other people don't know how to apologize and maybe this will help all right but do me a favor let me know down in the comments below like do you struggle with apologizing let me know, let me know. Let's have a conversation down below, all right? But that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, again, I'm just trying to help you out with your mental health. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You all are amazing. And if you wanna check out some more videos on this channel, click or tap right there. Thanks so much for watching. Learn how to apologize, and I'll see you next time.